I got this white wine from the Applegate Valley of Oregon on the next episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another uh, episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. I'm feeling very productive this week, so I'm glad to uh, be able to share these wines with you. Uh, I got quite a few samples recently from uh, Troon Vineyard. They're out of the Applegate Valley of uh, Oregon. Um, you may have heard me review a lot of uh, wines from Cornerstone Cellars in Napa and in Oregon. Um, well, Craig Camp, who used to work there, um, he recently moved over to Troon Vineyard uh, in Oregon. He, he's very excited about, um, you know, a, a, a winery and a vineyard that's that's been around for for a few decades uh, now, but they do have a a new winemaker there since 2014, a guy named Steve Hull. Um, so they're really focusing on a lot of like natural wine practices, um, you know, stomping these grapes by foot, um, letting that natural yeast from the vine and also from the feet, uh, fermenting these grapes and, and doing a lot of like neat co-ferments right here. So this is a sample. Uh, it's a $24 uh, white wine. It's a blend of Vermentino and Sauvignon Blanc, 80% Vermentino. Um, and so it's neat to see this Italian variety co-fermented with a traditionally French variety uh, coming out of a, a not very well-known uh, Appalachian, the Applegate Valley in Southern Oregon. So it's gonna be kind of neat to, uh, to, to see this entry into these wines of Troon Vineyard. So gosh, screw top, and you know I love screw tops. So uh, let's just pour out a little bit of this and see what's going on. It's a white wine. Um, no color wise, just a super um, pale uh, yellow with a little like green tinge to it. Not particularly viscous. I mean, there's, I'm expecting this to be a very like clean and, and crisp type of wine. Um, and in my conversations that I've had with, with uh, Craig over the years, he's very much a fan of uh, wine as a food and always pairing wines with food. So, you know, of course, I've got a special treat for you guys in just a little bit. But let's get into the tasting notes here on the nose. Hmm. You know, there's this faint, like, uh, green apple in the background. There's, um, like, a faint, like, uh, river rock type of minerality, but there's this overwhelming, like, floral honeysuckle uh, type of aroma there. Yeah, this is very much... Um, a floral driven aromatic um, which man I'm a huge fan of because I don't think you know there's not a lot of domestic whites where when I stick my nose in it that's the first thing I get are just these like white flowers um, and honey which I which I like quite a bit here Wow it's good on the palate Wow. So while it is um, a clean finishing wine, while this, while this is a, an acid driven and zesty wine that I think is going to pair very well with quite a few foods, including the food that I, I got right here. I think it's going to go great with that. Um, and while it's not particularly viscous, there is some depth here. There's some character. There's some backbone. There's some inherent richness here. Let me see if I can describe this to you. Yeah, so there's this, um, there's a little bit of that, again, like this honey type of component. Um, 
just a, a, a faint little bit of, of, again, that green apple, but very much like these white flowers are kind of driving it. Um, but it's almost as, as if there's like a little leafiness there. Like it's not just the, the flower, it's like the leaves and not like br like bright um uh, uh uh chlorophyll dense green leaves i'm talking about like dying and decaying um you know brown or or or, or, or tan uh leaves uh leaves and um it's really just different um and in a really good way there's a lot of things that you know for those of you that are just very much into like, uh, you know, uh, the Ramona singers of the world with their Pinot Grigios, uh, if you're one of those, I'm only into Pinot Grigio because um, that's the only crisp white wine you can think of. I think this Vermentino here from Troon Vineyard is really going to um, take it up to the next uh, level here in terms of there, there is this secondary layer of complexity. I'm liking this uh zippy white wine quite a bit um and i'm gonna put it in that like man i was gonna say 89 but honestly this is a 90 point wine 90 point wine just because it's so interesting and 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 different uh and i'm really enjoying that quite a bit and i think this is gonna go very well uh with the food that i'm eating today um i made uh, a zatar spiced uh chicken uh patty hamburger with some uh, oven fries and whoo some uh garlic chips um there's a nice like yogurt dip on there as well and i'm excited to you know honestly as much as i'd like to eat in front of you and as much as you guys would like to see me chomp on this for a while when i start drooling and everything uh you know i think you might get kind of bored uh of that after a while um but man, I, I, I know this is something that's going to go very well. And so I'm excited to uh, dive into that. And maybe I'll leave some additional food pairing notes on the bottom uh, on the blog, on stayradwineblog.com. Uh, so go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Vermentino Sauvignon Blanc being co-fermented in the southern uh, Oregon uh, Appalachian of the Applegate valley that was fermented on its natural yeast till next time everybody stay rad